Alright, before you guys watch this video, I want to go ahead and plug my merch. If you guys buy just one piece of merch, it automatically enters you to win $100. And I'm going to do that every month. And all you have to do is buy one piece and you're, you're valid for a whole year. Alright, so here's my website. As you can see, we got the normal name sweatshirt, professional money spender. Then we have the classic Crypto King. And then we got Phenom. Make sure you get your guys' merch. Alright, enjoy this video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you have not already subscribed yet, please do so now. A lot of you are not subscribed. Leave a thumbs up. So we're going to be talking about NFTs. You're probably thinking to yourself, what is an NFT? I've heard about NFTs, I've talked about it here, I've seen it on social media, blah blah blah. An NFT, in simple forms, is just a non-fungible token. Basically, um, how Gary V says it, it's like a skin on a video game or like, it's like owning, it's owning a piece of, it's like owning a picture, to be honest. Owning a video, it can be a picture, it can be a, a world, but it's all on the Ethereum network. So what that means is basically it's like the internet, but bigger, broader. Um, Ethereum is, is a coin, but it's also like a, a network, if you will. So it is a cryptocurrency. You can like go on Coinbase and Robinhood, etc., and you can buy a coin, you know, at the price of whatever the coin's at. But these tokens, these NFTs, are uh, you can't recreate them. So there's popular drops and collections, like a photo album, on uh, things like OpenSea. That's where you can buy and sell these. That's a marketplace for them. And basically what it is, is like a collection. Think of it as a photo album. And of that photo album, there's only, for example, because this is actually a common number, is 10,000. So say there's 10,000 photos, but every one of them are different. Not the same. Uh, different features, different, you know, facial expressions, if it's like a, it's a face or something. And it becomes a part of that collection. Then there's another number of how many owners there are. So when a collection drop, there's technically one owner, the creator, who's, who, you know, started all of them. But then after they create all of them, they sell them. And so however many owners there are, it starts to go up in value. So the top value one right now, I believe is like CryptoPunks. It's one of the oldest, it was in 2017. But right now a lot of, uh, popular and famous people are starting to buy those, starting to talk about them. The cheapest one is $190,000 worth of Ethereum. A lot of these people will buy this and you wonder like why, because it's just like a little image, but it really is more on the clout based generation. Like it's like if you had a pair of shoes that you'd want to show to people, you'd have to wear those shoes out in public. Or if you had a collection at your house, you'd have to bring people to your house. So what's cool about all these NFTs is it's kind of crushing that. It's basically a whole new world of like, if I had a public wallet, like a social media, like instead of an Instagram account, instead of scrolling all my pictures, you can go on my public wallet, see which coins I have of which collections, and you can see how much like they're in term worth basically. So for some, it'll kind of be judging people on their assets, and they're like almost bank account of images and Ethereum. Other people will do it off of the art, the cloud, the like, oh, he's got that one and it's a cool one, not necessarily the worth. But it is gonna be interesting to see the shift. This is still so new that it's like, a lot of people don't even know about it. I just read this one article this morning that I guess only like 8% of Americans even own cryptocurrency. So this whole thing is so new. I'm, just, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about it. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos on Ethereum, cryptocurrencies, NFTs. I'm actually working on some NFTs as well. I'm going to be dropping those. So honestly, my biggest advice would be just to learn about it because it's still, it's like, it's going to be bigger than the internet boom. So if that's, if that's some fire up, then you might want to get on it. Also, I just bought my first NFT. I forgot to say, I got the Tory Lanez album. So he did a drop 
of 1 million NFTs, and on each NFT is seven songs and seven album covers, not album covers, seven, uh, seven different, like actually title covers. And so it comes with the seven pieces of art, it comes with the seven songs, and I can listen to it whenever I want. Um, you guys can't just look up the songs and listen. You guys would have to go through his immersive NFT website and like make an account, a wallet, and then buy it. Um, I personally got like one of the cheapest ones for sale. Like I paid three dollars for it, but there are some that are literally selling for like fifty grand each. So I'm not gonna sell mine because I don't. I don't think anyone's gonna pay fifty grand for mine. But I also want the songs because it's it's cool. But it's just a different way. Another thing that I forgot to mention about NFTs: when you're a creator. A lot of people don't talk about this much, but when you're a creator, if you create an NFT, when you initially sell it, you get that money. And then every time it's sold after that, you can get up to 10%. You just had to write it in the um, code. Not even code, like OpenSea, that's what I use personally. You just type it in at the end when they ask you how much royalty do you want, you can put in how much percent. So that's another market kind of thing where it's going to be the people who have cheaper royalties will probably sell more people that have higher royalties will probably sell less but it's higher royalties so you know we'll see which one kind of evens out there will be obviously different strategies on, on making money on that um, other ways you can make money is just buying and selling them so if i bought an nft for one ethereum and then i turned around and sold it for one and a half Ethereum, you know, the math would be whatever the gross is minus that 10% or whatever the fee is. And after that fee is profit. So you can do that. Another way I saw one YouTuber do it and I'm trying to do it as well is basically just talk about it on like social media. Um, several other accounts. If you just type in NFTs on YouTube or, or the internet, it's a, it's a high search thing right now. So really just investing in it you can also invest in uh, ethereum because ethereum you can't do any of these nfts without ethereum so it basically just making ethereum go up i'm also invested in that i have coins of that i also have some bitcoin some litecoin a couple other little alt coins but i'll talk more about that in the next episode um if you found any of this informative go ahead and leave a like give a subscribe thumbs up um, also if you're in the market to just watching your everyday vlogs I am you know a personality my name is Miguel Munoz um, I do vlogs and and such so you can check out my channel check out my different playlists I'm also a jiu-jitsu competitor I have a lot going on in that I have some matches coming up some big ones I'll announce you guys can get your tickets but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.